This episode was brought to you by our generous patrons. Want to vote on the next game we play? Consider becoming a patron. And we are elegant back. Spiders. Elegant spiders. I mean, I like drawing spiders. Uh, uh, oh. uh, where am I? Where am I supposed to go? What do I do? <laughs> oh, you have to spin tornado power, so you could. Oh, just... is it the tornado one? Yeah. I thought it was the upside down one. No, you have the pink tornado. Yeah. Power. Okay, you're right. We. It was. It was feeling quite far away. Speaking of spinning, uh -huh. um, when I was building my <laughs> new PC, I. So with the Noctua fans that we bought, right? Mm -hmm. The they're, really good ones. The really good ones, and they're amazing. Yeah, they I are love fantastic. Them. I do not regret them one single thing. Nope, nope, nope. But one money. thing that um, worth it. people were talking about was like, oh man, I wish they came in different colors. Yeah, and they do. To and they an extent. do to an extent. Yeah. And I finally learned about that. And I was like, oh man, I felt kind of bad because the ones that I bought that were Noctua were oh. part of the Chromix Black. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I don't feel terrible. I don't think they were the... They're not as... They're the silenter ones, right? Oh, God. The ones that I have are just as quiet for the most part, but... So what I ended up doing with my build is I took the same type of fans that we have um, mm -hmm. for the ones that, like, are on the case door, um, mm -hmm. which are the 12... No, the 14 UAs, I believe. I they're can't the big, remember. It's been they're a the one, bit. They're the circular 140... Um, there's the there's like the millimeters. silent mode one, and then yeah. there was like another one that wasn't as silent. It's like ultra silent. But These ones they're are still like very nine. silent. Oh you yeah, know? they're like nine decibels or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, oh, 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 oh. But especially for the core, um, I knew I didn't need as big of a radiator, mm -hmm. so I ended up getting like the Chromix black one, which is like a single radiator and. I can't fucking see anything. A single fan. <laughs> You're good though. Yeah. Um, but I felt it was like, oh man, I kind of wish I'd known about that. But I kind of like our PC looks, anyways, for the channel. I do too. Real quick. Yeah. <laughs> I had to pause it. She, she said the puppies found its way home, and what? and uh, our our puppies found its way home. Basically, like oh, we left right. them away from the house, but it. <laughs> Non-related reminded me that Jen and I were watching the best insults from the Golden Girls, like a like a <sighs> compilation. That show, <laughs> and I I don't know their names. Jen watched it, but I, I'm aware Arthur. of it. One of them, and uh, and she's thank what, you, Ryan Reynolds. I think it was the oldest woman who was on there, like the grandmother of the oh yeah of B Arthur. I think character. Um, and, there's like uh, old lady B Arthur and Betty White, and there and there's, four, there's four. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's yeah. someone else. I think it's B Arthur's. Uh, mom in the mm -hmm. story the oldest one and uh, she looked at one of the other girls and she she was like listen here slap puppy and I'm like, what the fuck is slap puppy what <laughs> i'm like i need to use that more often now I need to add that they got away with that in the 80s or whatever <laughs> yeah it was fucking hilarious i don't know when it Jesus. i don't know when it came out like late 80s early 90s or something like that but yeah whenever she that, called it slap puppy she called it slap puppy and i was like i love that mm -hmm. insult I wonder how many times like, they had to try loving, to get that through. But at the same time, like, not. <laughs> anyway, sorry, guys. So, uh, my brother was actually, he had a retainer on Final Fantasy XIV for uh -huh. his character that he plays at. And he was and he trying to log... Slut Puppy? No, but it's oh. similar. He was trying to log into his account, and it ended up being just a network issue, which was weird. Uh -huh. But they wanted him to rename him his retainer. Because, you know, occasionally, sometimes, I think you got to go through that. There we go. Um, Sometimes, like, if your character has a raunchy name, uh -huh. they'll make you change it in an yeah, MMO. Yeah. But he had this retainer, which is, like, a NPC that sells <laughs> stuff for you on the market boards in that game. Um, and fuck you, too, Entropy. He yeah. just had it called, like, I think it was just, like, Sassy Cat or something like that. <laughs> Sassy Cat. And he's like, what the hell? Why can't I log in? Because when he was trying to log into his character... Um, it would just keep on kicking him out. Mm -hmm. And he was like, what the hell? Is it because ass is in the word? Like, what if I change it to you? I was like, well, what if you call it Pussycat? He's like, that's not going to help my problem, Sam. <laughs> What's new, Pussycat? Whoa, your retainer's banned. Well, that's cool. So it's starting at this phase. I like that. Thank you. Yeah. If for so the, I can slide for these If you ones. want the ones where you have to instantly do them, give us the hardcore ones. And yes, we're paying attention to the level, but I'm also trying to alleviate so Chris can... Ah! Yeah. Um, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. He can focus on the game while I tell stupid stories. Mm -hmm. uh, I appreciate that. No, I because at first I was like, how the fuck do I get... Oh, great. How do you get over Past this here? Thing? Some of them disappear as they get close. And some of them don't, like, like watch when I defeat this one. 
the next one after it will disappear. Mm -hmm. So... I've never said it in this whole playthrough, but Crash is an amazing run animation. Hell yeah! Whoever did the job of animating this run cycle, good job. His fit nose is tilted up in the air. He really looks like he's just struggling to get away. It's probably different than his normal <laughs> run. Oh, fuck. Because he's definitely scared. He's like, oh my god, get me out of here. <laughs> yeah. He's um, like, ah! And he's got this nice jaunt to it. I love it. That's yeah, great. Yeah, it's really good. I love it too. Like it's it's got like like we said earlier previously. Like it's weight. got good colors. Yeah. Everything feels like it's got good weight. It like as much as we complain about the mechanics, the mechanics are consistent. Mm -hmm. You know, which really helps. Twin oh, wow, that was it with them? Well, I, I think there's probably like this oh, is in no, our I, final four. I don't think it's the end of it. I was just yeah. surprised that. Huh. Well, there was also the level getting up to him the Were whole there time. Little paws underneath his shoes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, we did. It's got a high arch. What's the matter? Unable to handle even the simplest of tasks? <laughs> I no longer have need for our... Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bloody dags. Ooh. I don't know what dags are, but I Let's like it. Up these holes. I love it. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. They got such a good voice cast to do these masks. Hell yeah, they did. And, and as limited as it is, I think they got. I think Great they introduced them at the yeah. at the best points. Mm -hmm. Boy, not that it ain't been fun, but about my ticket home. Yeah. Right. Now that we've mended things, we can take you anywhere, any when. Mm -hmm. After we rest. Filling stuff. For now, I can only get us as far as the culinary capital of the universe. Neon City. Uh, okay. Culinary oh, cool. capital sounds good. Ne I like neon. Let's go. Mm. Yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Fred Tattashore. Mm. Delicious. I love nachos. Who doesn't love nachos? If you I don't, don't know. love nachos, you don't belong here. Why would you not like nachos? Nachos are delicious. Just as good as this game. Little cheesy, little spicy, hits all on the good spots. A little crunchy. That's really interesting that this is the. Okay, so this got shown off in demos for this the game. The beginning, yeah. It's surprise. I'm surprised. For this that level, they, I mean. This world, like they showed off some of it. I'm surprised they did this for like their PlayStation demos back when this was first coming out. Does that say snacks dimension? Snacks dimension. Food run. Thirty twenty three. I mean, okay, so either... <clears throat> Was that a communist skin? What? From Gurren Lagann. I didn't see it. Yeah, I think it had the, like, Simone Kamina, like, Oh, I pointy think you said glasses. communist. No, not communist. I'm like, what does that have to do Kamina. with Food Run? Or this level? So either they're, either they're duping us, or... This it's is kind of world. like a bonus Epilogue, world. maybe. Yeah. Although I, ex I really expected there to be a little bit more fanfare for the end. You said it, Crash. A little bit, but so, that's what I meant by, like, the story feels a little... Mm -hmm. Now, which way are the food trucks? It, who did the voice for the Aku Aku? It sounds familiar, but... It's not the guy... God, from The Mandalorian, the, uh, the main villain. I forget his name. Oh, no, there's no way. Right? Oops, okay. There's well, no way it's early. him. He's, um... He played uh, Gus Fring in the... Yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking about, but I can't remember his name. What the fuck? Um, I could picture his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I know I know exactly name. who he is. I just, I don't know, um... I guess not. Maybe not. Kind of. It does sound familiar, but I might be misappropriating it for. He's just too expensive for them to cast. <laughs> it's like a character that's only like yeah, four Richard lines. Richard Horowitz, a kind of experience I expected. For, yeah, but for just a voice line, Horowitz you know. Horowitz and like Tadashore, like they're industry vets when it comes to oh. voice acting and animation. Yeah. And they can't demand the price that that guy will ask for. for you just know a what voice? I, mean? uh, yeah. I guess. Yeah, because he's been picked up for like. Call of Duty and stuff like that, right? Yeah, like isn't he the villain in one of the newer ones? Or they some, have to pay stuff? big bucks to get those regular actors. It's not that they wouldn't be willing to do it, but they have, mm -hmm. you know, a rate that they have to like that they go by. They'll have to demand for jobs. Yeah, that makes sense for um, the actors. Because I don't stuff think like it, that, right? 
I think you get paid more for probably for films versus mm -hmm. obviously versus voice acting. Ooh, not gonna do that. Yeah. But I imagine Brad Pitt got the same amount of money he got for Sinbad versus any other thing he would do regularly. You know what probably. I mean? Probably. Or he probably got paid a buttload of money for Mega Mind, which he only has like maybe five. Well, minutes. he's the villain, right? Or not, he's not the villain. He's the. Uh, uh, he's, he's actually. The, he's the antagonist, the guy? kind of. Like he's the Quinn. He's like Superman, but remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, he's he's Markiplier. <laughs> Whatever his character is. Spoiler alert for anyone that hasn't seen Mega Mind. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Watch, stop um, watching this episode right now. So I'm gonna spoil something in about five. After you like and subscribe. Four. Three. Oh jeez. Two. One. So uh, wait, I hit the remember, button. in that movie, uh, the <laughs> character the that top. Brad Pitt plays, the like Superman esque character. Is that Brad? Okay. Yeah, yeah. he fakes his death in yeah, that yeah, movie. Yeah. yeah. So then you find out later in the movie, like, oh, he's actually alive. Because in the beginning, he maybe has like three minutes of scenes total. Yeah. Where he actually talks. I'm not talking about the character itself, but in terms of like Brad speaking for the character. And then on top of that, you have maybe another five oh. minutes so maybe he's maybe in the film for maybe eight minutes it's and similar then, yeah minus like the like when he re shows up right you know even including when he really? shows up because like he's in like a small scene with tina fey and oh, fuck. will ferrell in the two-thirds through the movie mm -hmm. and then he appears one more time at the very end and has maybe like two lines where he's like haha citizen <laughs> it's just like all right <laughs> Um, get your hey money. There, citizen. Hey man, Brad, get your money. Like, I'm not trying to hate, but I think it's funny that DreamWorks is always very, very keen on making sure that it's a star no matter who the role. Like, Jackie Chan in Kung nope, Fu Panda. No one up there. Yeah. He probably got paid a buttload. Oh, that was a great role for him, too. Yeah, but, like, it sucks because, like, I would have oh, no. liked more Jackie Chan in that movie. Yeah, but... He only does like two lines as monkey. I didn't even know it was Jackie Chan. For yeah, that. yeah. Maybe that's all he wanted to do, you know? I think this is all they wrote. <laughs> and Dreamworks is just like, it'd be really cool to have Jackie Chan in this movie, and they're like, we have the money. Kind of like an homage to, okay, those auto. A big part, part of it, I believe, is Katzenberg, just who was in charge of DreamWorks, believed that, hey, you know what sells these movies? The actors, the not the stories, which is why we always had. I mean, Sometimes I really mediocre liked, movies. I really no, Kung Fu Panda's Kung great. Fu Pandas, yeah. But that's because Chris Sanders and the other co-director were on it. Chris Sanders is known for Lilo and Stitch. Oh, fuck! I thought um, it was a little bit more further forward. Yeah. So if you know Lilo and Stitch, you Lilo know how good it is. Lilo and Stitch is incredible! Good. Yeah, and Chris Sanders was uh, in charge of... No, wait. Was it Chris Sanders in that movie? No, Chris Sanders was How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, uh, um, okay. He did it after leaving Disney. I forget who was on Kung Fu Panda, but... No, DreamWorks does make good movies that occasionally. But I even think outside of purple, I want to say that that's because Katzenberg stopped having as much of a role. <laughs> Spielberg was kind of like, you need ah, to stop. Fucking hell, man! Less fish tales, more kung fu pandas, more how to train your dragon. <laughs> fish tales. Was that the one with, with uh, Will Smith? Smith and <laughs> not Rihanna, but um, I think Jada Pinkett Smith was in it as well. Like was his it? wife? I don't know. I don't. I don't entirely know. Apparently I think I've seen son's it once. a rapper. I didn't even know that. His my son's trying out to do, and I can't blame the kid. Dude. I heard he's alright. Do your stuff. Get, yeah. get what you get. You get what you think you're hey man. You want to do, and if, if you're, you're interested in, go for it. I'm not gonna hate oh. on anyone that wants to pursue some kind of art. Uh, um, I mean, I fucking Michael Jackson tried to do baseball, or not Michael Jackson. Michael, Michael Jordan, Jordan tried to do uh, baseball. So like, yeah, you know. Oh fuck me. Um, he was actually you know, okay try, at it too. Try and find um, your bliss. Fuck, can't hate him on that. Yeah. No, but no when it's time where you're like, okay, maybe this ain't for me. <laughs> Michael actually probably like. There's a lot of people oh, that no, think he could have made um, at out of the minors into the pros. He never would have been like what he was in basketball, but he mm -hmm. definitely was at the point where like people were like, nah, if he had started with baseball or if he had kept on practicing. Good chance he would have made the pros. Well, I'm, I'm sure he um, has like the the talent. For yeah, he had, the, he had enough like athletic. But not ability. the not the talent, but you know what I'm saying. Like he's the got skill the skill the set ethic, for yeah. what in the fuck am I supposed to? Okay. Ooh. To here. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. I'm working. I'm playing 7D chess here. I still haven't finished Queen's Gambit. It's, uh, I haven't even watched it. Okay. I liked what help, I watched. Help. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> like, I was, like, floating with the trucks, not even doing anything. I think I got four episodes in, and then I just... I don't know why. I, I didn't get disinterested, but I also just... I didn't finish it at mm -hmm. the same time. Fuck I like the main character. What the fuck? 
Huh. I think you drop down to hit the box. Yeah, I'm supposed to, but it's death perception wise, so yeah, like no. it's really confusing. It's hard. So it's like, okay, here. Okay, here. Click it. Oh, fucking. I need to jump. finish it. I mean, Hel Hilda's finally coming back out with its second. Yeah, the 14th. Season. Jen and I are going to watch it right yeah. away. Hilda's great. Yeah. Um, Great Pretender came out. I need to watch that. Which one is that one? It's an anime about thieves. Uh, it's really, really good. Oh, come on, man. It's the one that starts in Japanese and then switches to English like halfway through its first episode. Maybe I've never heard of it then. It's on Netflix. It's like one of their top shows right now. I would definitely watch it. Um, okay. First season's eight episodes, and I think they just released eight more. Okay. Around Great there. Pretender on Netflix. Yeah. Good anime. Interesting. Um, I, uh, I haven't... I haven't heard of it at all, so I'm going to add that to my list. The director, one of the co-directors, I think, of Hilda, came out and was like, man, everyone's hating on us because it took so long to have Hilda come out. It's like, guys, we ain't Disney. We ain't DreamWorks. It kind of takes us Damn. a little while to produce animation. Yeah, no, I mean, it makes sense. It takes like, a it, year and a half is, to get that stuff out, man. That stuff takes a long, especially if you're doing it kind of like not an already it known property you know, like right you have to know deal, like a you know? is successful enough that we'll yeah. get more seasons and i would love if hilda kept on continuing oh, with the it. graphic novel um and just continue to make that show yeah, until that's it's right because it was a graphic novel yeah huh? it's based yeah. off some graphic novel by is I think, it finnish or danish or no i think it's canadian American? i'm not sure but it's based off a graphic novel um it's just a sweet show. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of little Gravity Falls-esque, but that's not fair to it either. It's its own thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a very endearing show. It's hard not to like. It's like a Gretzko. Oh. It's hard not to like those shows. They're not like blow you out of the water, but they're so well done, and the characters are so fun, fun and charming that you're I, like, I, I enjoy watching this. I think the color scheming for Hilda is, is great. It's yeah. incredible. I Their love color theory, color theory is really yeah. great. No, it's really good. That's one thing that drew me to it immediately. I was like, ooh. I love this indie kind of soft color palette they're going oh, with. That didn't work. I don't know how I'm gonna do this one. I don't know either. Um, yeah, it felt really. It felt like sunsetty at all times. You know. Yeah. Oh shit. Always kind of like a perpetual fall or mm -hmm. something of that nature. Um, if you haven't watched Hilda, I would check that out. There's a lot of actually really good animation going through Netflix. Um, yeah. Oh, fuck. Hilda, Castlevania. <laughs> uh, I got you, fucker. They finally they put Glitch Text on gotta, there. I still gotta watch Castlevania. Glitch Text was cool. I don't it's think it was for me, but yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a fuck. comedy, and you have what to really fuck? like the animation. <laughs> the characters get better over time, but it's not um, oh, there it's we not go. progressive characters. Like, if you don't love Miko right away, then I can understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't... Uh, Miko's I the main to, character? Miko's the one of the main characters, oh. yeah. She's the uh, Asian oh, girl. Oh, the, the, the girl, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Um, I absolutely yeah, no, loved she's, her. she's okay. I yeah. didn't quite catch on to the antagonist. Yeah, the antagonist like, goes away the, after the, the second episode. Not the anti-hero, but you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, he's annoying as hell, which is I, funny because I like the his point, act. right? It is, and he goes away after, like, the second episode. Like, he's not... For a little bit. He, like, will pop in every now and then, but, yeah, he's not... He gets better fleshed out near the end of the second season, but mm. he, like, really starts getting PSP pushed. 80%. I don't think it is. He, like, starts as, like, the one that kind of makes the story push forward at the beginning. Yeah. Look at that. Look he at that. definitely Look at that has skin. the pointy glasses. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he's not he's not great during the beginning and he kind of just shows up. His voice is kind of annoying and he's mm. not really interesting. But he doesn't he's not the focus. Well, yeah. After he's like very that. unlikable as a character. Yeah. It's like, ah, damn it. And like he's after that third <laughs> episode. Which is but, funny because I like his actor. I just don't like the character very much. I think the writing's good and it's not yeah. it's not pandering video game style like Ready Player One was. I can also understand just watching it, not being in the mood, and you're like, hmm. That might have been it too. Yeah. You know? Well, guys, go watch some stuff on Netflix. Holy yeah. shit. Stay inside. Stay safe. Go go stream stuff if you can. Hell yeah. <laughs> not sponsored by Netflix. Unless Netflix you want to. We'll see Netflix, you guys later. Netflix, <laughs> Zenny. Um, what's this drink we're drinking? Oh, bang. Bang. <laughs> what else? Who else can we shell out to? What, Naughty what, Dog. What is Zenny? Zenny's my glasses. They make my glasses. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, purple, oh, I... purple pillow. <laughs> Spotify, purple Casper. <laughs> we'll see. Hit us up, you guys. We'll see you later. Beep, bop, boop. <laughs> that level was fucking hard, actually. Or um, Noctua. With the being able to go through... Or Noctua, yeah. With the being able to go through all the different masks and stuff, it does feel kind of like a, a bonus thing. I think this is a great way to kind of top off the game. Yeah. It's, it's kind of a, what are your skills like, you know? Yeah. It's like, okay, cool. 